In the Explore phase, students use a common set of direct learning experiences to help them connect and use information in meaningful ways to develop content knowledge, processes, and skills. In this phase, students interact with learning materials to explore new content. They often work together in teams to answer open-ended questions or address authentic problems. The teacher acts as a facilitator to guide student investigation rather than presenting information directly to them. The purpose of the Explore phase is to provide students with opportunities to use their existing knowledge as they try to build understanding of new concepts. They actively engage with textual information, visual content, or explorable phenomena to construct deeper knowledge about the new concepts they are learning. Here is an example of a language arts lesson in which the teacher facilitates an exploration. Students examine various perspectives to approach a dilemma using claims and counterclaims. Um, we started off yesterday by just uh, discussing the ideas in the Heinz Dilemma little passage, but what we're going to do today is we're going to take it a step further and you guys are going to examine claims about the Heinz Dilemma and you are going to, with your group, come up with counter claims that you could say against these claims. You guys are going to read your claim and you're going to see how many claims you can come up together with as a group in the time limit. Remember, a counterclaim is a reason that disagrees with the claim. It's a reason that it's not accurate. All right, here we go. Timer starts now. All right, guys, so that's it on that. If you can return, but don't, uh, if you can return to your original, your original claim with your group. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a couple of minutes to go around and do a gallery walk and see what was added, you know, since the last time you saw the posters. In the gallery walk, students move around the room to observe and discuss others' counterclaims. The teacher poses questions to help students reflect on the importance of counterclaims. This form of active exploration helps students formulate new understanding about how to construct reasoned arguments. A key aspect of the Explore phase is collaborative discussion in which students interact with information and ideas to make collective sense of a learning topic or concept. Teachers facilitate group discussion through open-ended guiding questions related to the learning activity. In this science classroom, a teacher guides her students to formulate a hypothesis and support it with evidence. Today, the scenario is that you are all utensil birds. Scientific name, Aves utilensis. You must eat food in order to survive. But the climate is changing, so how are you going to do this? Our investigative question, which beak type is going to provide the greatest fitness for you as a bird trying to survive in a changing environment. Utensil birds have four beak types that look like single toothpicks, spoons, forks, or knives. Right now, go ahead and peruse uh, the think about it and research information, and then you are going to compose your hypothesis. As students complete this guided activity, they develop understanding of the concept. They also use the process skills necessary for scientific inquiry. We've seen how the explore phase, driven by essential questions, provides students with opportunities to interact with ideas and concepts using guided inquiry. Social interaction is central to this process as students engage in discourse to challenge and test their existing conceptions. Next, in the explain phase, the teacher guides students to use these experiences to generate a shared explanation of the learning concept. 